what a year for real estate. I choke saying it was the best real estate crash ever. But the fact of the matter is that 16 of the 56 towns that are north of Boston had home price depreciation in 2023. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the five best and worst performing towns for single family homes that are north of Boston. Now, it's important to say that there is no exact science as to exactly what towns should consist of the north of Boston tag. The data's great, but what are the exact towns? Well, that's up for a little bit of interpretation. Real quick, my name, it's Jeff Chubb, and I'm a retired investment banker turned real estate agent, and I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any questions in regards to real estate, then no, I am here to help. All right, let's start with the top appreciating towns north of Boston. The fifth best performing town north of Boston in 2023 was Swampscott, Massachusetts. Now, Swampscott saw an astounding 41% decrease in the amount of units that were sold in 2023. 2023, there were 69 homes sold compared to the 117 units in 2022. The average sales price of $1,026,000 was 10.8% higher than the 925 brand that we saw in 2022. The median price of $855,000 was 8.2% higher year over year in 2023. Now, the fourth best performing town north of Boston in 2023 was Burlington, Massachusetts. Burlington had 148 homes closed in 2023, which was 14.5% less than the 173 units sold in 2022. The average sales price in 2023 was $981,000, which is 14.2% higher than the 859 grand that we saw in 2022. The median sales price of $800,000 was 8.6% higher than the $736,500 that we saw in 2022. Now, Manchester by the Sea was the third best performing town north of Boston. Manchester saw 34 homes closed, which was 37% lower than the 54 units that closed in 2022. Sales might have been down, but pricing, it wasn't. The average home price was $2.158 million, or 25.5% higher than the $1.721 sales price in 2022. The median sales price would also see a big jump, with the $1.595 million being 17.7% higher than the pricing in 2022. And that brings us to the runner-up best performing town north of Boston, which is Groveland, Massachusetts. Groveland had 43 sales in 2023, which was 38.6% lower than the 70 sales in 2022. The average sales price of $732,000 was 28.5% more than the average sales price of $569,515 in 2022. The median sales price of $635,000 was 10.4% higher than the $575,000 median price in 2022. And this leads us to the best performing town that is north of Boston, which is Beverly, Massachusetts, which had 182 homes closed, which was a 32.3% decrease in sales activity from last year's 269 units. Now, the average sales price of $945,000 in 2023 was 29.6% higher than the 2022 average sales price of $730,000. The median sales price of $720,000 was 14.1% higher than the 2022 median sales price. And now, let's take a look at the worst performing towns that are north of Boston for 2023. The fifth worst performing town was Wenham, Massachusetts. There were 33 sales in Wenham in 2023. This 33 units was 32.7% less than the 49 sales that we saw in 2022. The average sales price of $1.058 million was 5.7% lower than the average sales price of $1.122 million in 2022. The median sales price in 2022 in Wenham was 960 grand, which was 6.7% more than the median price of $900,000 in 2022. The fourth worst performing town was Merrimack, Massachusetts, which had 36 homes sell in 2023. Now, this 36 houses was 30.8% less than the 52 units that closed in 2022. The average sales price of $642,000 was 5.8% less than the $682,000 that Merrimack recorded in 2022. It was a little of a doozy when looking at it from the median sales price perspective, though. The $568,750 was 16.7% less than the median sales price of $682,500 in 2022. The third worst performing town north of Boston was Carlisle, Massachusetts, which saw 50 homes sell. This 50 units was 2 units, or 3.9% less than the 52 units that were sold in 2022. The average sales price of $1.333 million in 2023 was 6.9% less than the $1.432 million in 2022. 
The 1.25 million median sales price was 5.8% less than the median price of 1.327 million in 2022. Now the runner up of the worst performing town north of Boston is West Newberry. West Newberry saw 36 homes closed in 2023, which was three units or 7.7% less than the 39 units sold in 2022. The average sale price of $849,000 in 2023 was 7.7% 7 .7 less than the average sales price of 920,000 in 2022. The median sales price tells a little bit of a different story with the median being $785,000, which is 2% higher than the $770,000 in 2022. This brings us to the biggest loser that is north of Boston, which is Newberry, Massachusetts, which had 53 single family houses sell in 2023 for an average sales price of $978,000. Now the 53 units sold was 15.9% or 10 units less than the 63 units that sold in 2022. Meanwhile, the average sales price dipped by 8.2% from the 2022 average sale price of $1,066,000. Median pricing, pull off similar story with a median price of $840,000 being 8.2% less than the 2022 median price of $915,000. Curious about what was going on in, I don't know, maybe the west of Boston or south of Boston? or the Boston Metro Market, or how about the Cape in 2023? Well, then be on the lookout for those videos. They're probably already posted, actually. You should also check out my 2024 Real Estate Market Predictions video as well. I think there's some great stuff in there. As always, I truly appreciate you keeping me in mind. Should you or anyone you know be thinking about buying or selling a home in 2024? And let me know. If you have any questions, you can drop me a line. As all of my contact information, it's in the description below, or you can Hit that comment section below as well. That's always a preferable way because it helps with that YouTube algorithm. Which speaking of that YouTube algorithm, I really appreciate you liking it if you enjoyed the video because that helps it as well. Um, all of my contact information, like I said, description below. Feel free to reach out until next time.